Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect QuickBooks to your Wix website in 2023. By connecting QuickBooks to your website, you can streamline your accounting processes and make it easier to manage your finances. So let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. So now what we need to do of course is just go and open whatever browser you're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm actually using Brave. But of course in your case, you can use any other browser could be possibly working for you. As an example, you can use Google Chrome, you can use Firefox, you can use Opera, you can use Brave like me, even an Internet Explorer if it's working for you. So whatever browser you have or you want to use, go ahead and use it. Once you do that, of course, you can simply go to your URL section and simply type wix.com and hit the enter button. That should take you directly to the home screen or the main screen of Wix website. And of course, here, if you have an account, you can simply click on the login option and that will take you to this page. Of course, here, you can simply enter your email and check this remember me option if you don't want to keep logging in into your account every time you get into the site or into the website. Of course, if you forgot your email, you can simply click here so you can get it back or remember it. Of course, make sure to read this term of use and privacy policy so you don't get in any future troubles. As you can see, you can read them very carefully because it's very important so you don't have any problems in the future with Wix company. Of course, this site is protected by reCAPTCHA Enterprise, Google Privacy and Terms of Use apply, so make sure to read them. And of course, you can even log in into your account with Google, Facebook, or even Apple, or with your SSO. If you don't have an account, make sure to click on the sign up option. And of course, from here, you can create your account by entering your email, then retype in your email, creating a password, and type in your password again, then clicking on sign up. Of course, again, you can create your account with a Google account or even Facebook account. And by signing up, you're agreed to our term of use and the knowledge you've read our privacy policy. It's the same as I showed you before. So for me, let me just fill this information real quick right here. Let's see an example that's going to be my email. I'm just going to retype it. Or like this. The password, let's say it's going to be something like this. And let's just re-enter it. And here we are. As I said, you can or you don't have to fill all of those if you want. You can simply click Add Continue with Google if you have your Google account already connected and choose the email or the Gmail that you want to connect with. For me, I choose the same email that I choose here. So now let me just save this. So next time I want to log in or something, I'll not have to fill those manually. And here I'll have to answer a quick survey. So let's set up with the right tools first. Who are you creating websites for? Of course, you can answer those questions or you can simply click on skip. So do whatever suits you for me. Let's say as an example for me or my business or friend. So click on continue. And here, what kind of websites are you creating? Let's say as an example, online store. Click on next. Should not take a lot of time this survey. And of course, if you're getting bored, as I said, always click on skip. Enter your store name. Let's say as an example, it's going to be something like this. Click on next. Because this survey will even help you uh, understand them a lot and even they will, will even help you and give you a recommendation based on your survey right here. So let's say for example it's going to be blog, I don't know, maybe music, video and click on next. Why not? So here as you can see we can simply now go to our dashboard. And as you can see they are preparing my dashboard right now. So I'll have to wait a couple of seconds and I'm going to be right there. So as you can see, now we are at the dashboard of my Wix account. And here, of course, I would like to finish this steps to set up my store. As an example, I'll have to add a first, my first products and then set up a payment method. Then, of course, set up shipping and delivery address, then 
design my website, then connect to a custom domain, then get found by customers on Google. So the first thing that you would like to do, of course, if you want to connect now your quick books to your Wix website is simply go to this left panel and click on apps and that will take you to the apps market of the Wix website. Now you would like to click on search apps as you can see right here and simply type quick books and hit the enter button. That will take you to this page so make sure to click on this quick books connector. Click on it and as you can see right here, this app is available just for United States of America and other countries. If you want to know other countries, just hover this other countries. And as you can see, you will be able to see it from here. Australia, United States of America, France, United Kingdom, Canada, and a lot of other countries. So make sure to check if your country is available here before installing this, this app or adding it to your site. Of course, the app languages provided by this app is just English and the site requirements, you cannot add it into your site or install it until you have Wix stores, Wix bookings, and Wix events and tickets, and Wix hotels, or just one of all of those. No need for all of them, of course. As you can see here to install QuickBooks Connector, first place Wix store to your on your website because as I showed you in the beginning of this video, I just created my account. I still didn't complete those seven steps right here because you can see you'll have to add a first products and set even my website and design it. And you will be able to read all of the features that comes with the QuickBooks Connector app that will connect the QuickBooks to your Wix website. Of course, if you're worried about something, you can scroll down and see the average rating of the 652 people. Just be careful because some apps has like 5 star rating and you will find here just 2 reviews or 3 because the person who made the app probably called some friends to rate his app 5 stars. That's clearly not the case here because some people are actually rating it one star and etc. And you'll never find an app rated five stars if it has like just more than 100 review, unless he's buying that. And as you can see, you can see even the comments of other people that's already used this app. So simply, once you meet all the requirements and check for your country right here, you can simply click on add, it, add to site and you will be able to connect your QuickBooks into your Wix website and you will be good to go. So that's it for this video on how to connect QuickBooks to your Wix website in 2023. Remember, by integrating QuickBooks with your Wix website, you can simplify your accounting processes as we said and save time and focus on growing your business. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more tutorials like this and I will see you in the next one.